Yes. Dr. Taylor? Yes. Detective Bob Bossack, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your wife's disappearance? No, of course not. Come right in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is a nice house. Oh, thanks. I can't really take any credit for it. My wife's done all the decorating. <laughs> uh, may I? Sure. You know, I've looked all over the house. I can't find anything. Well, you never know. Sometimes people are so accustomed to their surroundings, they miss the most obvious clues. Wish my house was this neat. Well, Therese is a great housekeeper. Do you mind? No, go right ahead. Nice. You and your wife ever fight? No, not really. Huh. I mean, every marriage has its ups and downs. I guess this is one of our downs. Mm, looks that way. She's been depressed for quite a while now. How long? Weeks, months, really. Mm. Work pressures mostly, plus she doesn't get along that well with her family. No? Plus, being a new mother, I just think it all became too much of a strain for her. I can sympathize. Did she have some cash with her? Well, she's got credit cards, and yeah, she had about $800 in cash. I gave her 200 myself. You know, there was one thing. What's that? I didn't think much about it at the time. When I dropped her off at the airport, she kissed the baby goodbye, but she didn't kiss me. Which airline? Oh, I didn't notice. She said, stop here, and I just let her out. Must have been under a lot of stress to not notice which airline terminal. Well, under the circumstances, yes, I was. I understand Mrs. Silvano has heart problems. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's why I brought Andrew to my mother. I figured, you know, the strain. Right. Whose are those? The two on the right are mine, the other two are Teresa's. Hmm. What? No, I was just thinking. For someone with as many dental problems as Mrs. Taylor, I'd have thought she'd bring her toothbrushes with her. <laughs> She's got plenty of toothbrushes. She's married to a dentist. This is he. Please understand, it may not be your daughter at all. I'm coming with you. Stay with your mother. Andrew, get your jacket. I'm coming too. No, you're not. Look at you. I said I was going. Let her come. Be okay. I'll go next door.
thank you for that. Mrs. Cimarelli, are you sure you... Sister, let's get out of here. 